I don't think it's really okay to start the game with this character, but we're gonna do it anyway. That's a really good start to the series. Jump attack. How did he hit me and I missed him? Backstab. That's nothing. This is getting tough. What can I say? It's an easy boss fight. Okay. Me. Okay, game. Very cool. See? Not even close. Welcome back to Dark Souls. Uh, today, we are going to be fighting the boss of this area. The Bell Gargoyles. Spoiler alert. I've already fought them before. They're, they're a pretty good boss. Pretty pretty difficult, too. Uh, we'll see how well I handle them. Die. Alright, that's right. Oh, okay, he's gonna follow me. And now he dies. Ooh, thank you. Titanite Shard. Nice. Uh, we're gonna go try to fight them. Uh, we're gonna definitely want the want to get their weapons their boss specific weapon uh it's it's most of the reason i decided to go dex even got him um it basically what it does is if we if we cut off tails of certain monsters or beasts like we did with this sword actually we we, we chopped off the tail of the giant wyvern guy we got the sick sword so uh we're gonna do that but again hey guys Hello, Pinkman. Yeah, it's worth. <laughs> it's worth it, I think, to do it there. That's worth some durability. These guys will pay pay that back in in no time fast. Uh, so we're gonna go try to fight them. Try to cut off their tail. Ideally, we can we can manage to do that. No problem. Uh, but we also could just die a lot of times. It's, it's probably going to take me a few attempts. But I'll try to game as hard as I can. Uh, here goes nothing. Let's go. I'm not nervous at all. What are you talking about? I got a sick ass weapon and stuff. Alright, what am I talking about? I'm actually terrified. I'm going to die. Give me that. One hit. Wonderful. What are you gonna do? Swing your tail at me? That's what I thought. Now the fight gets hard, with two gargoyles. This is great. I'm living. I'm living. Okay, I, I totally thought I was dead there. That wasn't bad for a first performance, though. That wasn't bad at all. I got... If if I had not tried to greed, uh, then I would have won. But I decided to greed and try to kill 
one of the guys right away. Instead of backing off, thinking, and just staying out of their way, I instead rushed forward and tried to kill one immediately and died for it. <laughs> That's Dark Souls. Eh, we're not going to be going through nine. We'll sip now. Plus, we have a plus two. We can pretty much full heal off of one one and sip, I think. Anytime we're under half, we'll, we'll try to disengage and heal, I think. Unless we have a good position to kill some. <laughs> the tracking on that was absurd. Alright, so lights. Maybe a heavy there. Yeah. Heavy there? That was a bit of a ambitious sip. Alright, we'll sip anyway. Who cares? I probably should. That's such a slow move, I should really be careful. Oh. Open at risk, no more heavies. Let's unlock. Oh, we're living. Nope, we're not living. That one did not go well. We only got one to half health, huh? <laughs> and then they just saunter back. <laughs> that's that's the best part. Oh, we, we're good. I'm gonna try to just run past everything this time. See where how that goes. Um, please die. So that didn't go well. There's just too many that come out of that doorway to do that strategy, I think. So we have to just fight them every time. That's annoying. I'd rather just run past them all and not have to care. Like I do with like every other boss in this game. Instead you gotta slow it down, kill all the guys. Blah blah blah. It'd be embarrassing if I died to them without trying to run past them. Good thing that didn't happen. Third try is the charm. Third try is the charm. Got a good weapon. I'm doing good damage. I just need a game a little bit harder. That was a mistake. Ow. I was not ready for him to just do that. Sip. Alright, maybe delay the roll on that one a little bit. Uh, maybe roll the other way. Away from his arm. The greed was worth it that time, I think. Ouch. Thank you, Geometry. Run behind him, heal. And just kill him. Alright. Gargoyle Helm too. That's a pretty good helm if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's a pretty good increase. 
And now we look, it covers our face more, so that's <laughs> that's for the best. Still fast rolling ish, I think. Yeah, three tries the charm. We just kind of killed that guy real fast like by himself before the other one could come over and the boss was easy. That's just kind of how you do that boss. You just aggro that guy and kill him before the other guy can show up. And then it becomes one of the easier boss fights in the game. Ooh, is my, are my, are my hands connecting properly? Kind of. It's close enough, anyway. Anyway, let's go ring a bell. Imagine dying here. Couldn't be me. Imagine if four gargoyles, four of the gargoyles attacked you instead of just two. Pull the lever, crunk. Yay. We did it. It's one of two bells we needed to ring. I did it. You know what? You get a plus. Alright. I think I'm going to cut a lot of that out. A lot of the just walking back to the boss. So we're still pretty, pretty, pretty fresh in this episode, I think. So we'll, we'll, we'll keep going for a bit more before I decide to stop. But what do we do now? There's so many places we can go and so many things we can do. Oh, it's his man. He's posing. Let us pose back. Greetings. I am Oswald of Kareem, the past. Thou art a friend. For thee, a warm welcome. Comest thou to confess? For to accuse. For indeed, all sin is my friend. Ooh. Uh, learn gesture. Well, what is it? Thank you. Uh, what has he got? What do you got for me? Nothing too. Nothing too in interesting for us. Uh, no poison res poison resistance would be nice, but I don't really care. You're not welcome any time. It is only human to commit a sin. <laughs> All right, bye. Well, now that we've beaten that boss, let's equip the weapon that I wanted to equip because I value using a shield right now. Gargoyle Tail Axe. Way less damage, because naturally, it's not it's not a static weapon that just is crazy. But, it's got a D in strength and a C in uh, dexterity. And I only need one more strength point to wield it in one hand. Which is awesome. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Also, it has a unique little pad little uh thing you see how all of those things down there are different now uh that's because i have increased my resistance to all those elements <laughs> does this not have a combo no it's just you just chop 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 and then the jump attack and then the attack kind of bends just kind of neat uh it's pretty big too Pretty decent sized uh, attack range. So we'll get back to that one place we're going. Uh, the one place we're going? Yes, yes. Of course, of course. The, the place I'm going. Uh, Andre's Smith Shop, yes. Yeah, that's the one. I definitely didn't forget what it was called and was fumbling for words for a while there. Uh, and we're going to go upgrade this thing a little bit. And we're going to upgrade our stats a little bit more. I'm pretty comfy where we are on HP. And, uh... And probably, like, not dex. What is it? S stamina, too? For, like, the foreseeable future, I'm pretty solid on. Uh, so we're probably just going to invest purely into dex. <laughs> Maybe a little in strength.
And if the time needs it, we'll pull out the Drake Sword and just start smacking people. I think. So, one into strength. And dump the rest into dex, I think. And one more into vitality, never hurt anyone. You know? How close are we? We're pretty close, but... We also have some souls left over. What's it, what's it like in one hand? A little bit slower. Okay, also I do stumble a little bit, I've noticed. If I miss an attack. So I, I think that's a mechanic for some weapons. But it, this is much more up my alley. It's a bigger weapon. I'm used to having more range and reach. So I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, I don't have anything that needs forged in that regard. This is just Titanite shards. Cool. I thought it might be a special type. Cargo attack. Tail plus one. Plus two. Uh, let's go by... One more of these. So we can get it a little bit stronger. Plus three. Now it does some decent damage. Alright, let's go test it on the guy down here. Like we did at the beginning of the last episode. Surely this will not go wrong. Alright, Kaivati. I have a shield now. You will never defeat me. Huzzah! <laughs> yeah. Not bad. I hate how their tails are hitbox. Yeah, this guy, we probably don't really have the skills to beat him right now, so we're gonna flee. And head into this area, I suppose. Why not? <laughs> yeah, yeah, why not? Hello, I have a shield now. Get owned. Three doinks with this, huh? Yeah, this ain't the strongest weapon, but it's kind of fun, and it has some good gimmicks, so I'm gonna run with it for a while, I think. Into Darkroots Gardens, we go. Okay, that's pretty good, too. Yeah, yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. Everything is fine. Can I backstab these guys? I don't think I can. That's a pretty good combo move though. If I can just keep hitting people with that as long as I got stamina, I'm pretty happy. What's this? Just some just some souls. Nothing too special. Uh oh. It's this guy. Yeah, we're not gonna mess with that. Oh, that's the wrong way. This is the right way. Secret tunnel. Secret bonfire, even. That one's mean. If you don't know where it is, that makes this area so much harder. Thankfully, we know where it is. Grave Lord Servant. Sure, we can invade this guy. Failed to invade. Well, you know, that's kind of good, actually. Because I think that means he will no longer... Or he will no longer not be chill. Which means he will be chill. Uh, I don't think there's really anything worth in there. And it makes, like, ten of those guys pop up. And every time we run past here, they all attack us. So I'm, I'm not a huge fan of that. So we're going to skip that. Ooh. Here's the, here's the first really fun area of the game. See this? It's an enemy. Can't really attack you. But it is an enemy.
All right, speaking of enemies, here's this guy. And now we can't, um, we can't dodge. So he might kill us. No, we, we survived this time. But yeah, that's pretty brutal. Yeah, he makes it so you can't dodge a roll. Uh, this is probably a suicide round, but it's fine. Ah, uh, someone else was invading him. That's probably why we couldn't. Well, we're just going to run. We're just going to book it. Get the heck out of dodge. We got armor. It was good. Uh, these guys are probably going to pursue us to the ends of the earth. Maybe the, the armored guys will be lost, though. Oh, I think most of them have given up, except for this guy. Who wants to tussle still. Yeah, this that guy does not. He's not going to catch up to me in time. Okay. With that... I think we'll call it a night. Well, no, not yet. First, we'll get to see the spoils of our run. The elite night set. Now it's it's wor technically worse than the than the gargoyle helm, but it has poise. So this means we have the ability to poise through things now, <laughs> if we want. We really don't, though. Our armor currently, for the most part, looks better. We might be able to up to these gauntlets and still fast roll. Uh, but much else we probably won't be able to do. 22. Versus if they were off. Yeah, it's the same, same speed, I think. So I think we're good to just have a little bit of poise. And hey, now our armor is a little bit better. Uh, we'll explore the, this this area next time in more depth. Get more accustomed to this old weapon. Maybe pull out the Drake Sword if we need to. Because <laughs> that thing is actually pretty busted. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Also, there's a store here. Who cares, though? Anyway, bye-bye.